So like I said, guys, I'm going to teach you how to trade like a hedge fund manager. Before we start any presentation or webinar, unfortunately, we have to put a little risk disclaimer in here. Uh, day trading, short-term trading, option trading, futures trading are extremely risky. I always say the difference between a good trader and a great trader. Good traders always think about how much money they can make if they're right. I consider myself a great trader. I say if I am wrong, how much money can I lose? Okay, it's much more important to look at your risk component. I know personally in my trading account, there is no position where I can blow out my trading account. One of the worst feelings as a trader is to blow out your trading account. Never execute a trade unless you're willing to lose the entire investment. No trades are recommendations or advice. We cannot be sued for losses of capital. All trades are for quote unquote educational purposes only. I am not a registered investment advisor. I do not have a 76356. I cannot offer you guys advice. What I can offer you is my opinion, and that is much more valuable. If you guys have any questions about margin requirements, uh, and capital requirements, execution, please call your broker. Okay, Simple and easy. Everybody watching today's presentation adheres to all risk disclaimers on www.optionhacker.com and www.alphashark.com. Now that the fun stopped, the risk disclaimer is out of the way. Let's go a little bit more into trading here. So this is a picture of me. Uh, this is uh, my embarrassing picture from uh, when I was a nice 18 years old, uh, passed out in Cancun, Mexico. Okay, before I ever traded, I didn't actually start trading until um, I was 22 years old. So when I was 22, I started to trade. Um, this was me at 18. Uh, just proving, guys, you know, that if I can make money trading, then you guys can. Trading is actually, you know, it's hard, but it's easy, okay? Why is it easy? It's just probability, math, risk versus reward, okay? It's very similar, you know, let's say I play basketball and I go to the gym with my buddy and my buddy says to me, I can make a half-court shot. Well, I'd say to him, hey, I'll bet you 100 bucks. Why would I bet my buddy can't make a half-court shot? Because the probability in the math is that he cannot make a half-court shot. What about if he said to me, hey, Andrew, I want 10 to 1 odds on my shot? Well, 10 to 1 odds, that's not very good for me. So I probably wouldn't make that bet. So somewhere in between, you know, even money and 10 to 1 odds, there's probability. There's math. Just think about football games. Why in football games is there a spread? There's a spread because one team is better. So if you guys can consistently put on probability and math trades, putting the favor in your quarter, then you're going to make money over time. I can lose money in a day, a week, even a month, but I have not had a losing year since 2009. Okay. So here's a little picture of me when I was 18 years old. You know, look at my hair there, and it's awful. I got my, I grew my hair out long, and I thought it was going to be a really good idea to dread it out. <laughs> so my hair, as we can see here, is dreaded. And uh, this just proves to you guys, if I can make millions trading, then you guys can too. I am not, you know, the smartest person in the world. You know, I went to a pretty good school, top 50 school. It's not like I went to MIT, Harvard, Yale. I didn't, never run coding before in my life. Um, and this is before I became a market maker. So if this kid who is 18 years old can figure out how to trade and make money every single year, then you guys can too. Simple and easy. Now I live in sunny San Diego. Um, I trade for my trading computer. I, you know, like I said, guys, I was a market maker on the floor of the Chicago Board Options Exchange uh, for a decade, but I'm just like everybody here, okay? I'm trading every single day to make money, okay? My goal, simple and easy, is to make the most amount of money possible trading, okay? I'm not saving the manatees. I will do that one day, but now I'm not saving the manatees. I'm just trying to make the most amount of money possible simple and easy okay so a regular contributor on cnbc bloomberg fox business sky australia wciu uh cbo tv uh a couple outlets there and uh you know i do enjoy being on tv but to be honest i'd rather be trading i'd rather be at my desk trading throughout the day because you know being on tv doesn't pay the bills we have a picture here on the way left that is my view from my place in san diego Fortunate enough to have a nice view. I came out here. I bought a nice BMW convertible with my trading profits. Um, picture of that there, and then a couple of pictures of me being on CNBC. 
You live in Oceanside? I live in Little Italy. I actually technically, it's technically considered Marina, but I, I say it's Little Italy. So this is one of the best quotes. There's two things throughout this presentation I guys want you guys to remember, okay? Number one is the word education, okay? So there's a word and a number I want you guys to memorize and remember throughout this presentation. Number one is education. Number two is the number 90, okay? So the word is education. The number is 90. We have a great quote here. It says, if you want to be more powerful in life, educate yourself. It is that simple, okay? If you want to be more powerful in life, educate yourself. You guys have taken the first step of your trading, which you've attended a free webinar. If you want to become a better trader, simple and easy. You have to be willing to invest in your education. You're never going to make money over time if you're not willing to invest in your education. So, you know, personally, I read a lot of books. I read a lot of books because power is knowledge and knowledge is power. Okay. I run a business now. I want to get better at business. What do I do? Read books. I want to learn about Facebook ad campaigns. I read a book. Okay. You guys want to learn about trading? You know, simple and easy. Read a book, attend free webinars. Once you attend the free webinar, then you have to be willing to invest in your education. Okay. If you guys are not going out there and investing in your education, most likely you're not going to make money in the long run because there are traders out there that have been trading for much longer than probably everybody here. There's traders out there that are a lot more profitable than you guys are as well. So why don't you take their advice? You know, and I always say the same thing. If you guys are going to a presentation or you're going to a webinar, you know, you should ask your, the person giving the webinar three main questions. Number one, do you trade on a real dollar account? And most people are going to be like, yeah, I trade on a real dollar account. Number two, how often do you trade? Because I trade every single part of the day. Okay. I'm at my computer always looking for constant setups because in general, you know, the market has the most action at the beginning of the day, but you never know when a trade, good trade setup is going to be. And number three, can you show me profitability? Can you show me something besides an Excel spreadsheet where you've made money trading? Simple and easy. I've made millions in my trading career and I'm here to teach and educate you. Basically, I get it from my father. He's all about education in uh, inner city schooling. And I'm here to teach what I'm good at, okay? I'm really good at teaching, educating, and teaching traders how to potentially become better traders. So like I said, guys, you took the first step. Congratulate yourself, pat yourself on the back, and say, hey, I came to a free webinar. Now you have to take the next step and start educating yourself. So, whoa, this is a really cool picture. Every time I give this presentation, Everybody's like, oh, that's a really cool picture, okay? So if you are trading stocks, futures, Forex, there are dark pools in the market, okay? If anybody of you read, ever, ever read Michael Lewis's Flash Boys, okay? Dark pools were actually created to trade, to be against the HFTs, the high-frequency trading. So dark pools were actually created in a positive light, okay? Dark pools were created in a positive light. They were created to trade against high frequency trading. There are no dark pools in the option market. I watch a proprietary based scanner where I can see every single trade across every single exchange. So this is my scanner. I see every single trade across every exchange. And then I take them, I take every single trade through a proprietary based trading plan that I will teach you today. It is called the Oak Ribbit Trading Plan. O-C-R-R-B-T-T. -T. And we'll go over how that is. So you can take any trade that's unusual option activity and you can figure out if it's a possible good setup. Also, I'll show you a couple free websites. Okay, I use a proprietary based scanner. We offer that scanner for viewing purposes in the trading room. But if you do not want to be in our trading room, that's fine. You can get all these trades for free, but they're a little bit delayed. So you might not get in as real time matters how you want it. And I'm going to show you guys a couple really cool free websites that you can get this. Okay. So there's no dark pools in the option market. So why we trade options. The goal of every trader is exactly the same. When I am trading, I'm trying to make money. Simple and easy. OK, 
okay? Why do I want to make money? Financial freedom. Everybody wants financial freedom, right? If it's the house that you want, the car that you want, the vacation that you want, um, you know, your children's education that you want, clothes that you want, watches, whatever it is. Whoever says that, you know, you need money, you don't need money to make money, good luck trying to trade without any money in your trading account. Simulated dollars don't buy things, okay? Real dollar things do. So you have to be willing to, you know, risk a little bit of capital. Like I said before, guys, difference between good traders and great traders. Good traders think about how much money they can make. I consider myself a great trader. I say, if I am wrong, how much money can I potentially lose? And you can do that as a dollar amount, or you can do it as a percentage of your total book. Simple and easy. So there is no dark pool in the option market. So if somebody has insider information, we will see that. And my goal is to get financial freedom. I know traders that made $50,000 in a day. The next day, they decided they didn't want to come to work for three weeks. There's an old quote that says, would you rather uh, slave, be a slave from nine to five or be your own boss whenever you want? Okay. So, you know, it's corporate America. It's for some people. It's not for me. I want the ability to make or lose $5,000 in a day, $10,000 in a day. And the, my favorite thing about trading is you, could, you control your own destiny. There's nobody you can blame, you know, if you lose money or make money. And the number that I'm going to teach you guys and I want you guys to remember is 90. And what is 90? 90% 90 of all traders lose money. I will repeat that. 90% of all traders lose money. So if there's close to 100 people in here, only 10 of you will make money. And the reason for that, number one, poor reward to risk setups. Number two, trading counter trend. And number three, not having proper education. So let me be your education. Let me be your guide to where you want to be. In the sand, sipping my ties, being part of financial freedom. This is another cool picture that we found. This is not, <laughs> trust me, this is not my house. This is just some random house that we found. But we all want more out of trading, okay? We all think that we can make money trading. I guarantee you, if you were making as much money as you wanted to trading, you would not be here today, okay? So we want to get the most out of trading. The only way, remember our keyword for today, guys, we have a number and we have a keyword. The key word is education. You have to invest in your education. Simple and easy. Just like I invest in reading books. I read, I try to read every single day. At least an hour, okay? So you have to be willing to invest in your education if you wanna be a better trader. Through courses, through webinars, through boot camps, through workshops. You know, if you think about it, and a lot of people, you know, they don't like to buy courses. They don't like to buy education. Okay, you're never going to make more money to make the be the best potential possible trader. You have to be willing to invest in your education. So the number 90, that's 90% of all traders lose money. And then education is very, very key. These are the best traders in the world. And I'll be honest, same thing, guys. They don't make money every single day. They don't make money every single week. Maybe not even every single month. Maybe they don't even make money some years. But these are the best traders in the world. If you guys recognize them, great. If you don't, that's fine too. They are Carl Icahn, Bill Ackman, and David Einhorn. Okay, I'm sure everybody recognizes Carl Icahn. Um, and these are the best investors in the world. So when I'm watching unusual option activity, okay, I'm watching the best traders in the world placing bets in the option market somewhere between $50,000 bet to a $5 million bet. Andrew Ross Sorkin came out with a report uh, about two years ago, and he said that 25% of all mergers and acquisitions have unusual option activity in it. Okay, And you say, how can these guys get around with it? There's not enough manpower in the OCC and the SEC to prosecute all these traders. So if these traders are trading on, pu on, on public information or insider information, they can get in trouble for this, but I cannot. Because once it hits the tape, it gets recorded on the trading floor, 
it becomes a public order. Okay, so if they're trading insider information, I see all their trades in the option market throughout the course of the day. We're going to teach you guys the proprietary based trading plan today. I cannot get in trouble at all when I base a trade, even if they're trading on insider information. Okay, so a couple great traders here. You know, Carl Icahn is probably the best. He's the beast. Bill Ackman, and then we have David Einhorn. Cool. So why do we care about unusual option activity? There are 8,700 publicly traded companies. Of those 8,700 publicly traded companies, there are 4,199 companies with options in it. I will take a trade and any stock possible. I do not care what the company does. We all know in the short term, what's the difference of what something's worth and so someone's willing to pay for it and what someone's willing to sell it for. Simple and easy. So in the short term, what something's worth is what someone's willing to pay for it, someone's willing to sell it for. It is a supply demand curve. In the long run, there is growth rates, PE ratios, um, and things that actually matter. But in the short term, it is just a supply demand curve. Why were the futures down 21 points just today and they were up you know, 19 yesterday? Supply demand curve. More aggressive sellers pushes the price lower. More aggressive buyers pushes the price higher. Think of a house, okay? Let's say I own a house in Chicago and I put it on the market for $500,000. If someone comes in and tries to buy it for $500,000, Next person tries to buy for 525. Next person buys, tries to buy for 550. Well, the house is worth more than 500, $500,000. I mispriced the house. Let's say I try to price a house for 500,000, and the highest bid is 425,000. So someone comes in at 425,000. Someone comes in at 400,000. Someone comes maybe at 450. Is that house really worth 500,000 dollars? No, it's worth a lot less. So every single day. There's a battle between the bulls and the bears. The bulls pull on the, you know, we call it like a tug of war. The bulls pull, the bears pull. Who wins is who's stronger, who's more aggressive. So in unusual option activity, they have access, institutional order flow, okay? I'm not watching some random person trade up at the computer from Kansas. I'm watching institutional order activity. They have better access to information, technology, manpower, and capital. I don't know if anybody started watching Billions, okay? Billions is all about a hedge fund that has insider information and the funds up like, you know, 37% because uh, Dave, uh, what's his name? Bobby Axelrod. Bobby Axelrod has access to information that none of us have. So he's always outperforming. He knows when a company is, you know, gonna cut deals, okay? And when you're trading guys, why would you trade stock? You're better off trading the option market. We all know options have a glorified return on investment. More risk, more reward. If I knew a stock was going to go from $10 to $20, if I bought the stock, I could make a 100% return. If I bought the option, then I could make a much larger return. So there's better reward to risk setup trading the option market. I can magnify my return on investment. Ooh, I missed one. So, unusual option activity is an order above the average volume. So every single stock has stock volume of trades in the day. Every single option has option volume of trades in the day. So let's say XYZ trades 1,000 options in a day. If it closes, it trades 5,000 options that day, that would be 5.0 times usual volume. It's not usual volume, it is unusual option activity. I'm sure a lot of you have seen CNBC, seen the Nigerians, Pete and John Nigerian, talking about a new institution coming into the market and buying calls that go from 10 cents to a dollar within minutes. There's been days where I've made thousands of dollars trading unusual option activity. These orders give us insight to institutional order flow. It shows us where the smart money is going, okay? It shows us where the smart money is going. 
So this is how it is created. Institution comes up with an order based on their research, analysis, the information that they have. Then they go to their option guy, say, hey, what should I do? I think the stock can go from here to here. Option guy gives them an answer. And then based on their research, information, and analysis, they'll call their broker. They will then go to Goldman Sachs, Citadel, Berk uh, Barclays, Merrill, Morgan, and say, hey, this customer wants to do this. Do you want to make a trade? They will then take the trade to the trading pit where it will be executed for the OCC and the SEC. Once that trade is executed, I will then see that trade on my scanner. I can react to that trade and I can decide if it is a stock or a position that I want to allocate my capital towards. So what does unusual option activity look like? Simple and easy, guys. A lot of my subscribers I got in this one. I was long these as well. This is an order in TCK. So this order hit our scanner in front of over uh, probably about 220 people. I announced the trade. I said a trader came in to buy 3000 588 TCK March five and a half calls for 20 cents. So this is the right, but not obligation to buy 358,000 shares, 300, actually 358,800 shares of TCK at the five and a half strike between now and March. And they paid 20 cents for that right. And I said to my subscribers, this is a good trade. This is an opening position. They are cheap calls. These can double in value very, very quickly. So I went in and then I bought these TCK calls. Okay. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, a trader bought, um, let's say they bought 100 of them at 20 cents. And let's just say, for argument's sake, we use our standard stop loss procedure for a beginner trader of 20%. Okay. So the stop would have been about 15 cents. So the risk on the trade was five cents on a hundred lot, which is five hundred dollars. Okay. So on this trade, we want to look at our risk component first. Okay. So our risk on this trade was five hundred dollars. This trade then went up to one dollar. So these calls traded up to one dollar the next day. Okay. If you bought a hundred of them, you sold them at a dollar and you pay 20 cents, that is $8,000 profit, okay? You are never gonna get, I repeat, you are never ever gonna get a risk to reward setup like this in stock, futures, or Forex. So the risk here was $500. The reward, if hypothetically you bought 100 at 20 cents and then you sold them at a buck, the reward here was $800, okay? And this was trade, was announced, and I went through the Oak Ribbit trading plan for all my subscribers, okay? Let's break down this trade. And just go through all the components of the trade and what made it a good trade, okay? So trade size, 3,588. The right, but not obligation, to buy 358,800 shares of TCK on the five and a half strike between now and March expiration for 20 cents. So this one's not the biggest order nominally. It's only about a $70,000 bet, okay? But a trader taking a big trade here, opening position, okay? If hypothetically you bought 100 of these, had a 20% stop loss, which is what I always talk about, my, I can't say advice, um, my education says for stop losses for a beginner of 20%. So you had a stop loss here, this trade could have netted you $8,000 profit on $500 of risk overnight. Can't tell you the last time that you guys probably made $8,000 on $500 of risk in one day. So this is TCK. Let's just see how the chart performed in TCK. TCK, the calls were bought right when the stock was trading 440. Okay, the stock is above $6 right now. The calls that day were up about 37%. So that day, okay, if I took this trade, which I know a lot of my subscribers did, because they email me all the time thanking me for trades, 
okay, was 37% in one day, okay? The 10 year interest rate yields about, uh, what, a percent and a half? Okay. Simple and easy. One trade, $500 of risk, potentially $8,000 of profit. How would you like that trade? Simple and easy. Okay. So here's TCK. This is what happened. Um, you know, they rallied up to a dollar. And if you bought 20 of them, if you bought 100 of them, you could have made $8,000. If you only bought a 20 lot, okay, 20 lot, you risk five cents. It's $100 of risk. You could have made $2,000 of profit on this trade in TCK. And I could sit here, and if I had three hours, I could just go through trade over and over and over, you know, trades that make money, okay? But that's not the point. The point is that not for me to show you trades that make money. The point is basically to teach you guys a trading plan, teach you guys how you could possibly, you know, replicate a trade like this on your own. This is another order in PMCS. Trader bought 14,726. PMCS, January, seven calls for 85 cents. The right, but not obligation, to buy 1.47 million shares of PMCS between now and January for 85 cents. This trade was a $1.2 million bet. I repeat this. This trade was a $1.2 million bet. Okay. We see the volume here was 14726 The open interest here was only um, 318 And what I'm going to teach you guys here, uh, these are all publicly traded orders. You can find these here. These are, this is straight from a, a scanner. They're called Trade Alert based in New York. And they show every trade straight from the trading floor. Someone asked me, do you have statements to back up these fish stories? These aren't really fish stories. These are actually trades that hit the tape. They're copy and pasted from my scanner, actually. <laughs> this is my scanner here. And they're just copy and pasted. I mean, you can see how the format is. Like if this trade was a winner here, um, they bought like some, today they bought some Zillow puts, right? So if Zillow goes down a lot tomorrow, I can be, look, they bought puts for $1.60. These went to three bucks. You know, I just copy and paste it from my scanner. And those are straight from the trading floor. So uh, trader bought 14,726 PMCS, yes, January 7 calls for 85 cents. As I said, this is a $1.25 million bet. Okay, a lot of my subscribers got in this trade. Okay, let's see what happened the next day. Wow, PMCS just gaps higher, goes up to $10.28. Okay, did this person get in trouble from the OCC and the SEC? No, the OCC and the SEC can't have manpower to execute every single trader that is trading on insider information. You know, every once in a while, they try to make an example, like I'm sure you guys saw the trade in HNZ, some traders in Switzerland a couple years ago. They made an example out of those, okay? But the SEC and OCC doesn't have manpower to go after every single trade. I personally watch eight to 1,200 trades going across the tape every single day. Well, how do I know which trade to allocate my capital at? I'm gonna teach you that. And that is the Oak Ribbit Trading Plan. Someone says this is your only method of trading. I have three main methods of trading. Unusual option activity is number one. The Ichimoku cloud is for all my technical analysis. And then I have earnings. So I'll day trade and swing trade unusual option activity. Certain trades from my point of view set up better as a uh, swing trade. Some of them set better up as a uh, day trade. Okay, here's an example. I'll give you one yesterday. Look at this one. And this wasn't like the biggest winner in the world, but a trader came in to buy. Look at this, guys. Trader bought 5,000 UNP March 78 puts. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to teach you how to trade unusual option activity. So a trader bought 4,817 UNP March 78 puts for $1.20. So it's about a $600,000 bet here. Okay. This was yesterday, 222. Well, let's see how UNP did today. And this was a trade that I made money on. UNP, these puts went to $2. So these went from $120 to $2 overnight.
Okay, just this trade. We just saw it on our scanner. Okay, these went from a buck twenty to two dollars overnight. Trade in PMCS. Hypothetically speaking, if I bought a twenty lot of these calls, I could have risked seventeen hundred to make forty nine hundred. Uh, it's very similar to the him cribbit trading plan. The him cribbit trading plan is for earnings, historical movement, implied movement, measured move target, chart, risk, reward, break even, time, and target. So very, very similar. Yeah, this trade netted this trader $3.6 million. Okay. I mean, if... A lot of times, Reuters, Bloomberg, CNBC, they come to me and say, hey, did you see this trade hit the tape? This trader made $3 million. I'll say, hey, you never, never, you never know a trader's stock position. Okay? Calls are bought for one of two reasons. Calls are bought as speculation of the upside, or calls are bought against a short stock position. Puts are bought as speculation of the downside, or a hedge against a uh, long stock position. So we never know a trader's stock position, okay? What we do know is we're looking for the speculative bets. Who knows more information than us? Imagine knowing Carl Icahn's, David I. Howard's, Bill Ackman's positions on before that. Could be a hedging, yes, absolutely. This is why unusual option activity is so hard and mysterious. Do you email these trades if you're a member? Um, well, I'm gonna teach you how to trade it today. This is more important to learn your education than to get the trades. You guys can do this all on your own, okay? So why take these trades? The hedge funds, and make sure you guys stick around. We got about uh, 15 more minutes. We're gonna open it to questions, charts, and I'm giving $1,000 worth of courses away for free. So why take these trades? The hedge funds and big traders have more information than us. That is why they're always getting in trouble for insider information. Trade with the pros. Imagine knowing Carl Icahn's or David Einhorn's positions before they are disclosed to the public. And most importantly, all trades are public information. Okay, so you say to yourself, how do I take advantage of these trades? I need to have a trading plan in place. I need to know if the trade is hedge or speculation. I need to make sure probability is math on my side. We have created a trading plan for you. Okay, it is called the Oak Ribbit Trading Plan. Write it down, take a picture. Okay, O C R. R B T T Oak Ribbit Trading Plan. Now I'm going to give you a couple free websites where you can get this unusual option activity. I watch it real live in our trading room. Okay, this is a proprietary based scanner that shows me every trade across the exchange. This scanner is $399 a month. I do not own the technology. If you buy it, I make zero dollars on it. So I watch it for my own personal trading, okay? But if you don't want to pay for the scanner, there's a couple really good free sites you guys can get, optionmonster.com, okay? The problem with these is they're delayed a little bit, okay? If you don't mind if they're delayed, that's fine. But it takes about half an hour to write all this, uh, the articles. So we see all the unusual option activity here, okay? Optionmonster.com. Optionmonster.com, guys is one site where you can get all this unusual option activity for free, then you can plug in the Oak Ribbit trading plan and figure out if it's a potentially good trade and setup for you. So you see, click on here. We saw July 18, Kate Spade calls being bought. Saw March 16, Kate Spade calls being bought. Another one, theoptionsinsider.com. This is another place that you can go and get unusual option activity. Once again, guys, it is delayed. Probably 30 to 45 minutes. I watch all the activity live. 
I give commentary and analysis on all the activity live in our trading room. But it, today we're focusing on two things, the number 90 and the word education. Okay, because I want you to make sure you guys invest in your education if you want to become a better trader. Getting the trades doesn't do anything, okay? You have to learn the process. You gotta learn the math behind it. You gotta learn why it works. Those are a couple free websites where you can get all the unusual option activity. So the first thing I look at anytime a trade hits a tra tape is I look at the volume versus open interest. Volume versus open interest. Okay, the next thing I look at is I look at charts. So if calls are being bought, I want to make sure it's a bullish chart. If puts are being bought, I want to make sure it is a bearish chart. Okay, then we look at R&R, &R, risk to reward setups. So we look at R&R, &R, the risk to reward setup. Then we look at our break even. Where is our break even on expiration? Then we look at TNT, time and target. Okay. Then we look at TNT, time and target. So this you can take this through any trade you want, plug it in, and see if it's a potentially good setup for you. This is a trade in ABBV that I took. The 212 61 calls for 95 cents. Announce this trade. Volume is greater than open interest. The chart was bullish. A big monster order. So the first thing I go to, volume versus open interest. And we see here the volume in ABBV was 14,400. The open interest was 122. So volume was greater than open interest. I can move on to the next part of my trade. Next part of my trade is the chart. As we saw here, it's labeled above the Ichimoku cloud, which is bullish. So it's labeled above the Ichimoku cloud, which is bearish. I'm bullish. So then I decide I want to take this trade. Okay. We will teach you in the course why some trades represent better opportunities to day trade and which represent better to swing trade. Certain trades are better opportunities to day trade. Certain trades are better opportunities to swing trade. Now it's this trade. I said I'm day trading this trade only. I call it WLD, win, lose, or draw. By the end of the day, I will be done with my position. So WLD, win, lose, or draw, I'll be done with this position. Then we have R&R. &R. Some people like rest and relaxation. I don't really rest and relax. I like risk versus reward setups. Okay, Risk to reward setups. Talk about stop losses. You know, I always talk about stop losses. Beginner, 20% stop loss. Intermediate, 50% stop loss. Hypothetically speaking, if you bought an option for a dollar, you would use a 20 cent stop loss or you'd have a stop loss of 80 cents. If you had an intermediate stop loss, you'd have a stop loss at 50 cents, okay? So beginner, 20%. Intermediate, 50%. As an expert, you know, I don't really use stop losses. And then we have expert trader, no stop losses. Most important thing when trading, guys, is risk. Risk is so much more important than potential reward. TNT, time and target. I want to trade the same expiration as the trader. Also, how much time do I want to get? In the course, we'll teach you why certain trades better represent better opportunities to day trade. Certain trades represent better trades to swing trade. Okay? There are certain trades that work better for day trading, certain trades that work better for swing trading. Look at this trade today, guys. Saw this one going across the tape. <coughs> Chevron. Trader came in, bought the weekly Chevron. Yeah, I call these trades all live. So Chevron, trader bought the weekly 86 puts for 42 cents. Opening position. Okay. Weekly 86 puts for 42 cents. Let's see where Chevron. These are today. This was a trade. Someone emailed me and said, thank you so much for announcing the Chevron trade. I actually didn't take it. But these puts went from uh, 42 cents to $1.70. 42 cents to $1.70 on this one trade. Okay. This was from this morning. These puts were bought for 42 cents. 
They went to $1.70 today. Today. Quadruple today. Crazy, huh? I didn't take the trade, but I called it to all my subscribers using the Oak Ribbit trading plan. So this is my trade in ABBV. Um, this is from a couple weeks ago. Uh, you know, I like trading out of the money's better, of course. As you can see, thing, two important things here. Position, zero, and uh, P&L, $3,645. So position is zero, P&L, $5,645, okay? That was one trade that I made, and this is my P&L straight from Thinkorswim. This is one trade through Thinkorswim uh, that I took. Uh, yeah, this will be a, a available for a recording as well. But make sure you guys stick around at the end because uh, we will be giving away $1,000 worth of courses. Okay? So this is my P&L. How would you like to make? This was 10 minutes. Okay? This was how many minutes, AK? 10 minutes. In less than 10 minutes, this is a Friday right before the close, I made over $5,000 profit. This was 10 minutes here, guys. 10 minutes. Okay, a couple testimonials here, guys. I mean, I could go through and put in, you know, all our testimonials. I get, you know, testimonials almost every single day. Let me see my testimonial box. I have uh, 146 testimonials. Charlie says, I want to thank you for the opportunity sharing your trading experience. Having just joined the trading room a couple weeks ago, I made $27,000 on KRFT Craft thanks to unusual option activity plan you taught me. Matt says, as a new options trader, I lucked into my first seminar about unusual option activity in August. My first week generated over $1,000 in profit, and just yesterday, $2,000 in profit. Steve says, it helps me stay in a trade to maximize profit, helps me on reversals, and this is just my first day. Wish I had this 29 years ago. I recommend this to everybody. Great job. Your, turn, your team deserves kudos. And these are all in caps, guys. These are all quotes from our subscribers. So we are offering you guys a course today. Who is the course good for? The course is good for any beginner, an immediate or expert, a trader who wants to stop having financial, who wants to have financial freedom, stop worrying about bills, and potentially make more money. A trader who actually wants to learn and stop guessing for trades. So many traders out there just make up random trades. Like, oh, it's time to get short here. And a lot of traders talk about trades in hindsight, too. <clears throat> oh, that was a good short setup. Yeah, of course you tell me now. Okay, I do this every single day live in front of our subscribers. Number three, a trader who actually wants... Oh, we said that. Number four, anybody who wants unusual option activity and learn how I've mastered, made millions trading. Okay, I've made millions trading. I'm a millionaire from trading, simple and easy. Okay. So, things I can guarantee about this course, 100% money back guarantee. If you take the course today and you do not like it, as long as you've never taken a refund, I will give you your money back, okay? So, if, ooh. if you've taken the course today and you do not like the course, I will give you your money back. There is no reason for you guys not to purchase the course today. The only reason you wouldn't purchase a course today is if you already have it. Simple and easy. So 100% money back guarantee. We will sell 25 spots. After 25 spots, the price goes back up to $4.99. You will learn and understand options and unusual option activity like never before. So this is my personal guarantee. I do not make money from your $99. To be honest, I don't really care if you buy the course or not. I want to offer you guys the course, but as I think it can potentially make more money for you. But it's not going to change my life if you personally decide to buy the course or not. <clears throat> I wouldn't offer you guys the course today if I didn't believe in it. So, what we're offering you guys today, and you can sign up here at optionsonthefloor.com forward slash grow. Okay. John is in. Keith is in. People are already saying that they're in. Okay. This is the unusual option activity trading plan workshop on demand. Regular price is $497. Stan is in. John is in. Nice, guys. 
Look at that. They're, they're even telling me they're in. I don't even have to look at my inbox. <coughs> We're offering 25 spots. Generate a concrete entry and exit plan with stop losses. Learn while call buying isn't always bullish and put buying isn't always bearish. Master how to read options volume. Erwin, you are in option volume versus open interest. And why average stock volume is important. Be taught how to look for the difference between speculative orders and a hedge against a position. It is optionsonthefloor.com forward slash grow. It is only $97. We are also throwing in a live session to watch me trade. Okay. So we're throwing in a, a bonus hour session. I'm just throwing this in. Bonus session. So you guys can take this course and then how you can watch me how to trade live. Okay. So this is an, another $499 value, live trading, me trading unusual option activity. So what you guys do, you take the course and then you watch me trade it live. I will say five things about this. Number one, most important in all our educational courses, 100% <coughs> money back guarantee. If you do not like the course, I will give your money back. You can even take the course, go to the live trading. If you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. Number two, this is a one-time purchase. You'll never see a, another hit on your credit card. I know a lot of people are weary to put stuff on their credit card because then they get billed every single month. You pay for it once, that is it, it's over. Number three, we offer 13 educational courses here at alphashark.com. This is our number one selling course, okay? We have sold more courses of this than anything else. So this is the creme de la creme in trading. This is the number one selling course. That's why we're offering it to you guys today. Number four, this is on demand. So you, the minute you pay for it, you can start learning immediately. Okay, the minute you pay for it, you can start learning immediately. So what you'll learn in the course is how to generate a entry and exit plan with stop losses, why call buying is not always bullish and put buying is not always bearish, master how to read option volume versus open interest, and why the average stock volume is important. Be taught how to learn when a trade is speculation versus a hedge against a position. Plus, we're throwing in one hour of a bonus session. We see Jeff N is in. We see Gene M is in. We see Carrie N is in. We see Lance is in. I see Seth R is in. A lot of people taking advantage. I see Tony is in. Stan is in. John is in. Keith is in. Chelsea is in. Uh, Brandon S. is in. <coughs> Ron S. is in. Hope De Groot is in. Tahir is in. Annie, Annie is in. Aaron is in. So we're going to give away two $497 courses, guys. You can have any course you want except for this course. So you two. Karen, you got to get in. Price goes back up. Optionsonthefloor.com forward slash grow. <coughs> so we're going to give away two $497 courses. The first person to give this answer correct will give a $497 course. Um, so let me ask you guys a question. I have a good question. Okay, you have to give the exact right answer. You have to give the exact right answer. Who is ready for the first question? First person to get this right gets a $497 course for free. The question is, what is the low of the S&P 500 futures this year? What is the low of the S&P 500 futures this year? You need the exact number. <coughs> no one's got it right. Let's see, 1851, 1802, 1925, 1837, 1804. No. I'm going to give it to Stan because he's closest. The answer is 1802 half. So Stan, email me any $497 course you want for free besides this one. So Stan, any $497 course you want for free besides this one. The next question is, 
for another four hundred and ninety seven dollar course. Which country exports the most coffee? What country exports the most coffee? Brazil. Hugh, you were first. I'll show you guys. This is a close one here. Um, so let me go in here and show you guys where the questions go. So Hugh was first. So Hugh was first with Brazil. So Hugh, congratulations. You won a $497 course for free. So I just gave away um, th $1,000 worth of courses right there, guys. I can't do any more. Can't give you more than $1,000 worth of courses. So one more time, guys. Uh, this is the unusual option activity trading plan workshop on demand. We have about uh, seven more spots left. So make sure you guys get in. You don't want it just like a trade. You don't want to be left in the dust. Options on the floor.com forward slash grow. What you will learn is how to generate a concrete entry and exit plan with stop losses. You'll learn why call buying isn't always bullish and put buying isn't always bearish. Master how to read options volume versus open interest and why average stock volume matters. Be taught the difference between speculative orders and against a tr hedge. Okay, options on the floor.com forward slash go. We have about seven spots left, guys. Then we're jacking the price back up to $4.99. Once again, I will say five things and I'll be done. Number one, 100% money back guarantee. You can take the course. You can come watch me trade. If you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. Number two. This is a one-time purchase. You'll never see this charge on your credit card. Number three, you get this for life. The minute you purchase this course, you never have to buy it again because you own this course. Number four, there's no reason for you to buy, not buy it unless you already have it. Simple and easy. You get your money back if you don't like it. And number five, out of our 13 courses, this is our number one selling course. <coughs> out of our 13 courses, this is our number one selling course. Simple and easy. Does anybody have any questions at all? Does anybody have any questions at all? It's on demand. So the minute you pay, you'll start learning. You'll start learning immediately. Uh, it is the same course as 2015, yeah. So if you purchase it in 2015, you don't need to purchase it again. This is the exact same course. You, you're welcome, Grant. All right, guys. Uh, make sure you guys take advantage of this great promotion. Options on the floor.com forward slash grow. Everybody have a great, great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Thanks, guys.